Hey guys, Magical Aaron here. It's been uh, a little longer than I would have hoped. And some of you have said that I put a video out. Okay, I, I haven't, but I'm doing it now, so I apologize for that. Um, Here's the video. What we're going to do is I usually give you an explanation, either on the same day or the next time. So this is the next time. I'm going to give you an explanation of just one of them. Uh, the coin matrix. I well, hope you can see all the full coins. There's one here. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. Okay. I'll shut up. And there's one. Let's shut it back down. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Okay. I have three randomly chosen cards. These are the same cards I used last time. They're so you know they're not magnetic or anything. If you want to use these cards, you don't have to. I guarantee any cards will work. Because the method here, you'll see why any cards work because of the method. <laughs> um, but if you want these cards, you can probably look them up. That's how they look. Their bicycle. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you the trick. I'm gonna show you how to do it. One card goes there. The other card goes there. And the third card goes there. We're leaving this coin uncovered. Okay, this coin. You take it. And just go right over that card. Now there are two coins there. Okay. And take this one and toss it over to the top one over here, to this one. See, because that one is no longer there. So let's set that back down. And we're going to take this one, just like this. Not let that happen. And go there. It's going to go underneath as well. So get this one, two, three, and four. Pretty cool. How? All right, here we go. So hopefully, I know I taught you a classic palm on here somewhere. You're gonna need to know the classic palm. It's also called Spider Vanish. You can use it as Spider Spider Vanish. It looks like a Spider Vanish because you're doing like this, and like this kind of looks like you're making a, a spider look kind of with your hand. But anyway, you take a coin, and you're kind of palming it there. It's called the uh, it's called classic palm, or if you use it as a vanish, the Spider Vanish, like that. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, it might take you a week to learn how to do it. Because most people, if they don't know how to do it, they start off learning like this. And if you keep doing it uh, every day for a week, eventually it can get to be like this. And then after that, you just got it down, you know, like that. It's harder to do with the smaller the coin, the harder it is to do. But anyway, that's the idea. That's what you want eventually. So, if you don't know how to do that, work on that first. Because, um, I mean, I guess there's another, there may be another way to do it. I don't know. I guess you could do a different vanish. I just find that one looks the best for it. Because that's how I learned to do the uh, other version of this, these tricks. These uh, matrix, coin matrix tricks. But anyway, we're going to start. Here we go. So, you have three coins. Uh, uh, sorry, four, da, excuse me, you have, I cannot talk today, three cards, four coins, so obviously one of the coins is going to be left uncovered, so here we go, you're going to get them to all go up here, supposedly, 
everyone's gonna believe that you're putting them all up there in slow motion. Because you will show that you can do it by magic, and you're gonna show them in slow motion now. So you go, what you're doing, you're starting over here, when you place down the card, you're gonna put, pull it from the top like this, you're gonna supposedly place it down onto the coin. So you, what you're imitating is that. What's actually going on is this. You're using your fingers to pick up the coin. That's why you kind of have a deep, deeper grip on the cards than normal. So you go to the coin, you pick it up with your fingers as you place the card down. Like that. So now I have the coin. Right there. Okay. And this is how you know it's not magnetic. Because <laughs> I'm actually picking up the coin. So now there's nothing there, obviously, because I have the coin. So they believe there's a coin there. You come over here, and you drop the... You kind of hold your hand like this so they can't see that you're holding the coin. So you go like there, then you come over here and you drop the coin next to the other one, just like that. Drop it as you place the second card down, and then you just drop the last card onto the other coin. So now there's one, one, zero, two. And take this coin. I guess you could do one of the one of the other vanishes like that, but you still gotta learn how to palm. I guess you could do, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of another one that you could do. Um, I guess you could just finger palm it and do one of those. But that would still leave you, you have to pick up the card. Just do a spider vanish, it's easier. That way you can kind of show your fingers empty. And you take the one, you pretend to take the one from here and toss it over there. And that way you can sh show that this one's gone. So what I'm doing now as I pick up this card, I have a classic palmed. I'm picking up the card, and as I turn it around, I'm dropping the coin into my fingers. As I'm placing the card back down, I get the card above the coin. So hang on, see if I can do this for you. I pick up the card like this. The coin's still there. Pick up the card like this. It's now kind of above the card. It's right here. The coin is right there. And I'm putting it beneath. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting it beneath. And letting the card go on top of the coin. And the coin is now being dropped back onto the... <clears throat> onto the table. And yeah, you need a blue mat for... Well, no, you don't need a blue mat. You need a, a mat or something that will keep the coins from talking against the surface the underside surface of what you're using to put the cards on and the car cards and the coins excuse me so here's what we have so far zero one two one here's what the audience believes zero zero one three Okay, so what you're gonna do for the last one is you're gonna use the coin. So I use the card to get the coin up like this. What I did was I basically just went like this. Hang on, I, I, if this is the surface, I just kind of went like this. Then what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna show them that the coin is on top of the card. You're gonna let the coin fall into your hand like this. And then you're gonna, they're gonna see the coin fall into your hand, like that. Well, what's really going on? That's what I'm approximating. This is what's actually going on. So you're gonna do that. And you're gonna pull the coin back up. And now you're sort of holding on to the coin. I'm gonna place it back down, trying to get it centered 
underneath the card or closer to the corner that you can. And you're gonna, so now I have nothing in my hand, but you're approximating that you do. You're gonna do this. You're just gonna make these two coins. So it sounds like there's more than three coins. You're gonna make them sound like there's all four coins are now there. Okay? So you've done that. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna take, uh, you're gonna say, okay, now all four coins are there, right? So all I have to do, and when, I'm try, when I push the card forward, I'm trying to get one of the coins, the one closer to this corner, which is this one right here, not that one, this one. You're going to get that one against your thumb so you can pick it up. So you, you pick it up, then you move it over to this corner, drop it, place this one into the center, pick up these two, and show. And take your bow. If you need to repeat any of that, or if you want me to, want me to slow down or whatnot, go ahead and pause the video for wherever you need. I hope you enjoyed that. If I showed you more of this type of trick last time, I'm using the same methods. So um, the one-handed one, I probably won't teach you if I showed it to you on the last video. If I did not, I will show it to you next time. Then, um, if I did already do that, I'll show you something different next time. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.